Hey, Tom Rabbit, I hope you got this for your recording. Hey, YouTube out there, Tom Rabbit likes to record these. Hey, Tom Rabbit. So he had done anything wrong in the room. You? I, I, he hadn't done so, anything so wrong then, in the room. He hadn't done it. I'm trying to explain to me. Can you, you, you explain? explain? Hey, are we gonna have? A, are we gonna have a conversation? I'm trying here? to answer you, Darth. I'm trying to. You're answer. Just gonna act like I'm an unbeliever now. You, Darth. I'm trying to answer you. Hey, he yeah. hadn't done anything wrong that day, and I'd had previous conversations with him. He's agreed to be good. He hadn't done anything wrong, and so that's, I'm not just gonna meet no. people because you come in the room, bro. Okay, sir, sir, that's not what we're, we're talking. About. I'm not asking about what you were doing in regards to the giggler. Okay, now. I'm so trying to build your attitude. Why are you ever talking to me when I'm attempt to respond to you? Are you going to treat me I'm like uh, to, unbelievers treat me now? Say okay. Earth is okay. Now. now I'm trying to respond to you here. Okay. Now you seem like like you're upset. Am I correct? The, I'm I, well. I'm a bit sad that you decided to leave to go to the no. other server and get a room there. Yeah, no. sort of a betrayal no. in the way. You know, I, was I haven't. I haven't betrayed anybody, sir. I haven't betrayed you anybody. You were just going to get off. I, okay, please, please stop accusing me of betrayal. Understand. How have I betrayed anyone? I think feel like it was a sort of a stab in the back to the server, in my opinion. How? 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 How is a betrayal when I wanted it so that I could stop? Okay, I'm. I'm made it clear that they were not going to allow people to harass me, and even when I went in other rooms. The harassment was continued, and I asked for a perm where anyone who was har harassing me would go into quarantine for, for 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Okay? Well, Not muting. Just, no, okay, why are you ever talking to me? It's a stab in the you, back. You, you, want to, you want to make me, a, you want you want to accuse me, but you don't want to let me respond, do you? Okay? I think, I think I'm trying to respond to the things that you're saying. No, I'm trying to respond to you, and you keep over-talking me. Are you now going to treat me like the way unbelievers do? I don't, I'm not is, treating what, is this what you're lowering yourself the to? Then let me finish responding to you if you're going to accuse me. the way I treat everybody. Okay, are, okay. no, you're over-talking repeatedly. Now you're doing what the unbelievers do. I was I not betrayed. Know. I was betrayed. I was promised, okay, on this server... That they were going to take whatever story to, to stop the behavior. I was given perms in a couple of rooms, but when I would visit other rooms periodically, there would be people coming out of the woodwork, um, would harassing. You visit them with a beer and like please don't, please don't over talk. Don't please don't over talk me while I'm answering Fox. Okay. Well, you now, said beer. Okay. All right. There you go. Now. Certain commitments were not kept to me, and I was giving lame excuses. I'll ask you this question, okay? Are you there, Foxy? I'm still here, mate, waiting for my chance to respond. Um, do, do you actually believe that, uh, and she is the soul that Blackout has no say-so anymore? Is that correct? I, I, I mean, that's not my business, honestly. My business. No, no, no. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Are you aware? Okay. Are you aware? Is, I don't know what exactly view, the okay. relationship between Banshee and Blackout. Oh, right, right. Now you want to talk about a betrayal, okay? Now, just telling Please, somebody that you are the soul. Of, why, are, why are you? Are you ever? To, I'm trying why, to respond. Why aren't you letting, you why aren't you letting me respond? So why you're going to respond. Why are you letting me the like the unbeliever now? When Is I'm it trying just to you going to be monologuing you? for the next uh, hour? Monologuing. Uh, so now you, t you too are going to treat me like the unbelievers when I'm trying to respond well, to you? Can I respond to the things that you're so saying? So are you going to overtalk me again? Minutes, are you going to overtalk me are again? Are you going to let me speak within okay. the next five minutes? No, I'm I'm trying to respond no. to you well, cogently. You so, you no, uh, okay. You, you know what? Oh, you shit. just have sour grapes because I criticized you, okay? And are those the same sour grapes that you use for me? Can I respond to that? The or are you just going to monologue do, okay? and prevent me from responding? No. No, you accuse me. You accuse me of respond? betrayal, and I was. I you were accusing me of betrayal, and I was responding to that as a false accusation. When I'm responding to the false accusation, you keep on over talking me. So is this going to? Are you going to let me?
yourself Are you of your let false me accusation you that okay and talk about it so thank you so now what you've gone is you've gone from being okay, down look, now that you were a friend of mine now you're an enemy and you're acting just like so you, you're, you're absolutely two-faced now i haven't betrayed no, anybody and now I'm you're acting just like the unbelievable so you won't let me speak you won't let me speak you're just going to monologue forever Okay, and the problem with you, Darth, is you come in, you shut everybody down, you're not actually loyal to the cause, and so what's the point in trying to build a show around the Darth show when you're not even loyal? Like, I sit here for, like, it? 10 hours a day. Well, you guys can listen. I sat yeah. here for, like, maybe 18 hours a day, right, making it possible for him to come in whenever he wanted to a room full of people, and you know what? He's still fucked up. Right. And it was ruining the thing that I want to build, which isn't the Darth show. It's the theist experience. These well. toes we ain't all oil. come together and have a reasonable conversation without Darth preventing conversation. OK, with not the reason that I got to know Darth is because he's an interesting guy. He's a smart guy. But the thing is, is that I want to be able to have conversations with people about religion. I don't want Darth to come in and be like, you're not allowed to talk to this guy. You're not allowed to talk to that guy. I'm not allowed to talk to the giggler, apparently. I'm not allowed to let him come into my room and be a part of the conversation when he's being well behaved. But right? Darth's got ridiculous standards. So if you all want to go chasing Darth around because you think he's cool or whatever, and he is smart, he is smart for sure, but he's not having real conversations. He spends 90% of the time ripping people, and I don't approve of that. I want to have real conversations about intellectual issues. I genuinely do think Christianity is true. There's loads of guys in the chat here that are great at articulating the Christian position. And Darth is absolutely dog shit most of the time because it's not when he's on topic, he's brilliant. But when he's off topic, he's just being horrible to people, man. And I'm down in the crypto and MMA room. So I don't Wait, know but... if anybody want to be unmuted while I'm here. Yeah, the. Send me I mean, Jeff, um, Jeff, you said that okay. there are good people who can render this view, but um, didn't Face, like an hour ago, say that all inductive arguments are a non sequitur? Look, I don't know what Face said an hour ago, okay? I'm, I'm down in the crypto and MMA room trying to learn about fucking Pretty trading. Pretty sure you were there. And I see Darth come in, and he, I'm not being funny, he ruins the chat every time. So, like, Gooseneck was in here. He was having a great conversation. There's 20, 30 people all having a conversation. Gooseneck's a part of it. Right? He's a great moderator. Darth isn't. Was it not cool, Jeff, or not not cool, Jeff, having a conversation with someone before that? Anyway? Yeah, I think, I think you should have just muted him, bro. Yeah, I think Darth probably came in, muted not cool Jeff, because Jeff was having a conversation with Gooseneck, then took over from Gooseneck, right, at a polite point. Darth's good at doing that in a way, right? But the fact is, is that then he doesn't let anybody else talk at all. And he's got this really ridiculous attitude, and he literally mute absolutely everybody. So he can go down into the atheist helpline, if he's so cool, he'll be able to build up his own audience in there. But the reason that you don't catch Darth going into an empty room on his own is because if he did that, then there would be zero conversation the whole time. Okay, Darth's not very good at having good quality long form conversations. Okay, oh, like fuck. he needs people like me to help him engage in that sort of conversation because he just rants forever about complete bullshit. Okay, so it's all right. Yeah, I'm it's okay. It's all right. We're here for you, Foxy. It's okay. So yeah, I mean, uh, no, no, did Darth just come in here and like crap on the room and leave? Oh, no, that's what he said. He brought me. He brought me up, but but it was. But he did kind of do his usual shtick. But th this particular, it was like the straw that, bro that broke the camel's back, kind of. So, did you see what he did? He brought me up because he's he's basically said that like Banshee is not doing exactly what Banshee wants. That I'm like behind everything and not allowing him to have the amount of powers that uh, he wants to have. But that's simply not true. The thing is, is that Banshee can make his own decisions and. He has his own limits. He's not willing to fork over, hand over the server to Darth to do whatever he wants. So, you know, the man has his own limits, and that's Banshee speaking, and that's Banshee's policies. I'm not telling him what to do or anything like that. 
Well, so Darth could just have Darth could just have his own room because I mean I know Fox wants to run it. He does. Well, so which room is his now, though? Atheist helpline. He has the atheist helpline. There, there is helpline. no atheist helpline. That's gone. It's okay. No, because, it's he, because he left. Okay. Because he left. Okay, but he, he, the thing is, he can have that room. In fact, he was also given other rooms. He was given free reign in this one. Okay, which Christian is apologetics. Okay, yeah, and Christian apologetics. And technically, this is not his room. It's Foxy's room. Foxy puts in yeah, all the yeah. work to to build it up and everything like that. And Darth comes in and just poaches it and beats up the whole room. Okay, and so Foxy has taken a bullet for us. He's been a very good host and a partner in the server to like help facilitate like Darth. And he turns around and he doesn't work with him. And Foxy's had enough. And he says like, "Enough is enough. Stop hijacking my room and killing my room." You know, it's like he can't take it anymore. Yeah, very, so fair is all fair. The time. Very good. He will, very good he will come in and not listen. He just appears and then immediately starts i am inserting myself now after maybe hearing a two or three back and forth why not sit and listen for a while right why that was, yeah. that's what i don't it understand was even worse today kyle he he heard what he thought the uh, jeff was saying from the one side of the conversation that the theist <laughs> was having with jeff right <laughs> and then he started yeah. taking that position and when jeff started wanted to defend himself he just muted him like, like well, today was something else, man. This is a territorial Darth, issue. Okay, Darth, Dar Darth asked for let me, real quick, real quick. Darth asked for perms to be able to go into any room and mute whoever he wants. Okay, now Banshee did not want to give this. Okay, yeah, now, if you asked me, I would say no. Okay, but it's Banshee's decision to make. He doesn't agree with that either on his own, because that would allow him to go into whatever room he wants, pick fights with our room owners in here. And then mute them. Okay, that undermines yeah, look, our entire look, look, room owner look. system. So why why would anybody stay here? Why would the panhandlers or anybody else stay here if yeah, he can come in here and just like mute everybody and that's the end of it? <laughs> that's ridiculous. Yeah, that's well, so somebody okay. look look look. I'm not the one to defend Darth, obviously, right? We've seen our run in, but it's not true that like he didn't have like a good justification to mute Jeff, right? Not cool, Jeff. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> Jeff. Jeff was, Jeff was definitely suicide by mod in that particular instance, and I don't know what else. I mean, but the beef between him and Foxy is that Jeff uh, is that Fo is that uh, Darth went to another server. Um, fucking politics. That's the true nature of the beef, right? And that's why that's why um Orson was singing these hoes ain't loyal because it really boils down to loyalty between Darth and Foxy. Darth obviously has no allegiance to Foxy in that manner, the way that Foxy might have thought. And it's, it's shitty for Foxy, I'm, I'm sure. So that's really well, all that's happened. But one thing, though, is, is just in Darth's defense, I mean, he did kind of spike this hey. channel time. So I think we've gotten all the, all the summaries out of the way. So let's get to the substance. Well, the well, only thing I'm saying, and one, one last thing, is just I'm saying, like, he did kind of spike this channel a lot. So, like... Yeah, you know, maybe he feels a little bit of entitlement to like, like, hey, or, or you know, like, hey, I kind of helped this channel out significantly, and he did. I mean, this channel was number one for a little while, right? I mean, for you know, another. So like what I you gotta do, that. yeah, what you gotta do, Sergeant, is you gotta go into Darth's DMs and say, hey, bro, Foxy doesn't appreciate you. He doesn't see your value. I do. Come to my room. You will get unbridled uh, control and can do whatever you want. Do, do that, sorry. I wouldn't mind. That, yeah, that's cool. Hey, when he's if he's in a room that I'm in, he's I treat him like I would treat Matt Slick. He's a public figure. That's how I look at it. I, even though he may not be technically one, and it's like he has free reigns. Yeah, I, I think that's just that's how I would treat it because I know that he does will bring the atheists around and create conversation and stuff. And you know, so that's that's how I now, look. You no, probably, Matt. Matt's look. different. Matt's different. Matt. Matt is a much more reasonable individual yeah, yeah, who will go sure. into the lion's den, he'll go into the atheist rooms, he will answer what? questions, and he'll interact. He absolutely does. Oh, yeah, he's Matt, a is a Matt is a snowflake diva. If you over-talk him, he immediately oh threatens to leave. Don't play that game. 
Yeah, well, Dude, well but, but, Matt, Darth is but, but a concrete, demon but concrete, concrete heart. Matt, Matt, Matt is an older gentleman. They're both and, demons. And who, and who doesn't demons. act? No, who doesn't concrete. Act like Relatively child, to like three. When's the last time? Let, let me ask you a question. When's the last time Darth went to atheist room and took everybody on on equal footing and was patient and had to like answer questions and actually have a dialogue? Never. Did you catch that, Tom Rabbit? Hope you upload that to YouTube.